Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Thursday the 7th, and today was a lovely day to be alive. So, got up today, had a handful of things to get done, had a nice little cool breeze in the air, um, felt nice, it's that super great time of spring where it's definitely um, nice and cool in the mornings, warms up nicely in the afternoon, cools back off in the morning again, so it kind of, it's no air on, no heat, none of that stuff, just a fan in the window blowing through the house. And it really makes for a beautiful, beautiful day and a beautiful night's sleep, both. So, had some really weird thing with my health. I don't know what's going on. I woke up this morning. I was so dizzy I couldn't walk. I had to hold on to walls and stuff. It took me forever to kind of finally get through that. I don't think I ever quite... I was still kind of feeling off a little bit all day. Had a handful of things get done around here. Got those taken care of. Um, one of the things I did was actually had signed up to be a foster um, care person person I guess for a breed specific um, dog organization and we'll see what happens um, it looks like it's on it's one of those weird things where like they're super picky uh, type people where it's kind of a little bit almost snobbish on some of those places like I remember I looked into a greyhound rescue place one time and they were so picky and so I mean it's honestly it was easier to adopt a Chinese baby than it would have been to get one of their greyhounds so I had kind of tried to get one of those many many years ago and had given up in the process because of the fact that they had a couple um like unannounced house visits which was fine except the fact that it's unannounced and they had a policy in there that if they missed you three times in a row then you were automatically out of the process and i explained to them well these are the general hours that I'm working with my own business and they are not set. We don't have because if things are going on, whatever, and they came down three times at this like noon on a Wednesday, like three times in a row, and noon on Wednesday, I was an hour away at my business running my business. So, and they were just, I don't know, it's one of those weird things where you pay a bunch of money to even get put on the evaluation list and then they basically pick some stupid thing like the fact that I wasn't here. They're like, well, if we tell you when we'll be there, then that's not an unannounced visit. We have to see how you live your life. And I'm like, that's fine, but I've given you the general hours of when I would be around at the house. And you guys didn't seem to care about that. So no refund, no nothing, just out that money. So it's one of those weird things where I think they kind of feel like, you know, sometimes you get some of those organizations where people think that they're the only one who can give an animal a good home. And that's clearly not the case. They ask for some references and that kind of thing, too. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, you can look at my videos of how I handle Bruce and that different things. So obviously I would be a great foster person and the fact that I'm having my dog with me 24 seven, I'm at dog parks running, you know, trails, all that kind of stuff. I'd have a ton of people who would be seeing him and throw a little vest on and says I'm up for adoption. He would get seen by hundreds of people a week as opposed to getting seen by a few people on a website. So, well, I don't know. So we'll see what happens in the whole process and hopefully I'll get some good news and I'll end up getting them and everything will work out but if not oh well i kind of believe big, big 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 believer in the fact that things that are meant to be will be and things that are not meant to be will find their way not to be so um kind of with the dizziness thing i was kind of feeling a little back and forth wasn't really sure what was going on there i've had some advice from people maybe i've like knocked my electrolytes out i've been drinking too much water and then the sweating running the last couple of days so that might have been the problem this morning Went back out today for my run, um, knocked out my third day in a row at um, 16 plus kilometers a day. And just, I don't know, it feels kind of weird. I usually don't run that long back to back to back like that. So it's kind of interesting. I've been really nursing uh, a couple injuries and my miles are way off. And it's just been, I don't know, it's just been feeling like I wanted to run longer the last few days. So today I went out with just a handheld bottle the last two days before that. I went out with my hydro pack with food and, you know, actual, like, you know, almost two liters of water with me and that kind of thing. This time I went out with a 21 ounce bottle that had a, um, just the handhelds all I had. I did have a goo with me, which I took about an hour into my run, not quite an hour into my run, probably 50 minutes into my run, I guess. And basically, um, a little bit over halfway to the point, took the goo. It's not that big a deal. It's just something, you know, I knew I was going to, I usually try to eat every hour on my slow train runs. And ironically, um, the three days in a row, each day has been a few seconds a mile faster average pace. So it's been kind of interesting. Um, I had no intention last few days to go out and run that far each time. And I just, that's where I end up at. I kind of wanted to run at least one decent distance 
coming up because I haven't ran that long since I've been nursing the um, Achilles tendon injury. And I've got a half marathon coming up next weekend, not a couple days from now, but like nine days from now. So we'll see how that goes. I know I can run the distance. I just don't think I can run it real fast. So we'll have to see what happens in that whole process. But I figure if I can run three days in a row at these distances, I can definitely knock out a half marathon. Simple enough. So just got to get figured out what's going on with the whole electrolyte thing. I'm going to go pick up some Gatorade. See if that won't help. I've been trying to eat some different foods, um, trying to get some yogurt in me, lots of bananas, that kind of stuff. Trying to figure out what my what I'm missing. So definitely gotta get it figured out. I used to have some of these dizzy spells before when I had the problem. Went to a doctor's, um, spent like a hundred grand plus in testing all that crap, and it came up with some little bull crap, you know, thing they sort of diagnosed was untestable but what they believed it was, and they said basically to stop drinking caffeine and to eat more salt. So I cut back my caffeine at that point in my life to zero, and then I've since upped it again. Lately, where I'll drink like a 24 ounce bottle once a day of Mountain Dew, which is definitely not an overkill. Cause in fact, I was drinking six to eight liters of Mountain Dew at the time back then. So definitely been trying to eat more salt. Also, like my hard boiled eggs, I'm salting the crap out of that. A lot of my other foods trying to pump my salt up. So who knows? Um, I might try and see a doctor um, to figure out if this happens again. I got to get it figured out because this was pretty bad. I couldn't have drove. Um, there was a lot of things I couldn't have done this morning. If it was life dependent on it, it would have been dangerous for me to try and do things to really kind of, I guess, protect myself if things had went bad. Like if I'd had to drive the dog to the vet or something like that, I would have been in trouble. So definitely want to get that figured out and get my life, I guess, um, I don't know, my health, I guess, back on track. So who knows? That's all I got for right now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe, wonderful day. Thanks for watching.